We are seeing uh, some uh, signs of a shakeup here happening in the west wing of the White House in the wake of the defeat of health care. A deputy chief of staff to this president, uh, Katie Walsh, will be leaving the uh, west wing, leaving the uh, White House to go work for an outside group, one of those outside uh, political action committees that supports this president's agenda. And this is just happening in the last few minutes or so. And our Jim Acosta is reporting that this is because of a health care defeat. You know, the major uh, defeat in the uh, legislation from just last week. And Katie Walsh is, uh, was the longtime uh, uh, chief of staff, excuse me, at the RNC to Ryan's previous Wolf. And she was very um, much in charge of driving the uh, uh, agenda here at the White House and also uh, keeping things sort of running. Uh, we're also uh, told by other sources that she's been frustrated. Of course, there have been some issues in recent weeks here at the White House, but the uh, now, this definitely is not the first shakeup, but it's the uh, second, I guess, if you consider Michael Flynn, of course, the national security advisor who was let go more than a month or so ago. But, Wolf, this is definitely coming on a day when the White House is trying to uh, sort of reboot, and they're desperately looking for a win. The president earlier um, in the day was doing something he rarely does. He was taking aim at fellow Republicans, going after some of those House Freedom uh, Caucus members. Um, so this is uh, something the White House is clearly trying to uh, reboot and get things back on track here after a very rough uh, 10 weeks or so out of the gate, Wolf. Is this in any way at all related to the news that we got yesterday that Ivanka Trump, the president's daughter, is now taking on an official right ho White House role uh, as an advisor? Well, if that's a good question. I mean, the Ivanka uh, uh, Trump hiring sort of stands alone as itself. She is a an advisor unlike anyone else here at the West Wing, of course, because she is a family member first and foremost. But she definitely is taking a greater uh, role and reigns on everything here. So we do not believe it's directly connected to that at all. And our sources are saying that uh, Katie Walsh is not being fired by any means. She is staying within the Trump family, if you will, by going outside the uh, White House to sort of uh, build consensus and a coalition for his message. Um, but. You know, the hiring of Ivanka officially, you know, certainly has everyone on, uh, on, on edge in some respects and on watch here at the White House to see if other uh, staff shakeups will occur because of that. But in terms of if they were absolutely uh, connected, Wolf, we don't think so at this time.